Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's the 13th of December today, so it's day 13 of Vlogmas. I do apologise there wasn't a day 12 of Vlogmas. Um, I have been told off by my sidekick Samuel. Um, I just had a real day of running around yesterday. Um, and I just ran out of time, to be honest with you. Um, so I have been suitably reprimanded by my assistant, Samuel. Uh, so I do apologise. But I was just busy all day. I took Samuel to school and then I shot over to Waitrose. I wanted to get a tin of roses, but the Kath Kidson tin of roses. And normally only Waitrose sell those. And... Um, they didn't have it. The lady who does my eyebrows lives next door, but one to me, she works in Waitrose. So she's been looking out for me, but she hadn't, she had messaged me the other day to say they weren't in. But I needed some other bits in Waitrose. Or I needed to post some parcels and they've got a post office there. And um, I wanted a few other bits that I knew I could only get from there. So I shot in there quickly. They didn't have it, but I still managed to spend a small fortune. Um, but Mark has since informed me last night that apparently he has seen them in Sainsbury's. So he has been reprimanded that he has not brought it for me. So hopefully he will come home with that tonight or at some point before Christmas. So I did that and then I had to pop to Asda's to get my gammon and some other bits and pieces. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. Sorry. <coughs> sorry um and then by the time i got back from that and had put all that away i did some wrapping up because i brought a few gifts while i was out i did some wrapping up then it was time to have a quick lunch and then i had to tutor the little boy then i had to prepare samuel's dinner then I had to pick samuel up from school then i had to tutor the little girl that comes round. Then my mum was here, my mum cooked Samuel's dinner, she's feeling better. Then I had to take Samuel dancing. Then by the time we got home at quarter past seven, Mark had cooked our dinner. Then um, it was time to watch Strictly Results. So I was really sad that Will was out, really sad. I do like Will, but I'm pleased Hans is through. I love Hamza and I love Helen. Um, and then I was too tired by then, so I do apologise. So I do apologise. <laughs> But I've had some, oh, I've got that as well to show you. Um, I've got some things to show you. I've got some finished objects. Um, I finished Mark's sock. So he now has another pair of socks for Christmas. This second sock. So this sock has been lying there finished for quite a long time. This second sock I cast on on Friday night. I did the rib on Friday night. Finished the last row of rib at dancing Saturday. Did most of the leg at dancing on Saturday morning, during rehearsals, did nothing Saturday night. Then I did the rest of this on Sunday and then yesterday because when I finish recording this, I'm going to cast on with what's left of this yarn and what's left of this yarn, which I think is called Owls. I don't know what this is called, I can't remember. I do think it's West Yorkshire Spinners, but I don't think I've got the label anymore. Oh no, oh yes, I have got the label. Does it have a name? Winter Icicle, oh, that's nice. Winter Icicle. Um, I'm going to knit my great nephew who's, uh, 14 months I'm going to knit him some teeny tiny socks so he can match great uncle Mark at Christmas I'm so excited I tell you this sock has absolutely flown off the needles it is Tuesday and I've knitted a whole sock in virtually two days I literally finished that this morning when I was around seeing my mum so I'm going to finish this video and then I'm going to knit that um today so I can't wait I'm going to show you what else I brought in Waitrose. I shouldn't be left alone in Waitrose. I was very naughty. I haven't shown this to Mark because he'll tell me to act my age, which he reg regularly tells me to do. <laughs> I treated myself to a colouring book 
not because I do a great deal of colouring, because I very rarely do any colouring book. He brought me the um, Downton Abbey colouring book last Christmas and I've not touched it at all, other than to move it from one place to another. I haven't coloured in a single picture. But I brought strawberry shortcake colouring book because I used to have a strawberry shortcake when I was a little girl and I just love her. And the pictures are really pretty. I might colour some in. They are lovely. There's some, um, let's see if I can find one. There's some original drawings of strawberry shortcake in here. But the reason I brought it was, I thought, let's see if I can find it. Oh, I love that one. The reason why I brought it was I thought I could maybe trace these off and sew them as red works. What for? I do not know. Because oh, I can't say, but no, I can't say that because it will give it away. But um, I could make a baby quilt. Um, But I just thought it'd be really pretty to do. Don't have to do the morning red work. I could pick out other colours. I've got loads of embroidery threads that are just sitting there. But I thought they would just be really nice. So, and then I could colour in the pictures if I want to. I probably will not colour in the pictures because like I say, I have got loads of colouring books upstairs that I've never used. But I just wanted to do it. So there we go. Happy Christmas to me from me. It was six ninety nine, so not cheap, but not too expensive. And I think I'm worth it. And they're easy to trace off, aren't they? You could do applique with those, or just simple red work, or any simple embroidery. They're nice, clear pictures to trace off. I also brought, and this is the only time of year I ever buy this, and this means Christmas has started, the TV times. And I will, <clears throat> I've had a little flick through, and I know that Doc Martin is on, Call the Midwife is on, Strictly Come Dancing is on, The Boy, the, boy, the Mole, the Fox and the Horse is on. Um, so I'm going to spend some time later going through, marking off what I want to watch. Mark said, oh, that's a waste of money because you can see on TV what you want to watch. I suggest, but I like going through and just marking off. Sorry, the other side kick here, the noisy ones here with his noisy broccoli. Um, I know you can find out on TV what you want to watch, but I do just like to look through it and see what I want to watch. We don't have the TV on over Christmas, but hopefully the few days leading up to Christmas, do you want to come and say hello? Don't say hello. Do you? Come up here then. Come and say hello. Milo. <gasps> Who's up here? Who's on the camera? <gasps> Who is it? Who's at the door? Is it Grandma? Is it Grandma? Can I see if it's Grandma? A few days leading up to Christmas. Hopefully I'll have everything ready and um, I will be able to sit down and watch some TV. Some was that bit older now. Last year I was able to sit down and watch a bit of TV. I've managed, I don't know if I said to you, I've managed to get my tablets um, that have been, that were causing me issues trying to get hold of them. I managed to get them last weekend, but at the moment they don't seem to be working very well. Um, but I don't know whether that's the added stress with my mum being poorly or whether that's, um, the extreme cold is obviously affecting my head, which I know it will do, but they don't at the moment, they don't seem to be doing a lot. I'm in quite a lot of pain in my head oh. <laughs> and in my leg with this crazy boy. Crazy boy, are you a crazy boy? Crazy boy. It's not a child, it's a dog, isn't it? So we're going to start with Clemmy. This is the last day for Clemmy because Clemmy is only 12 days. So yesterday was day 12. So here's Clemmy still clutching her hot water bottle. So what has Clemmy got today? So she's got her stocking. She's got her bell to return to Santa. Oh, 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 that's lovely. Obviously, she's been a very good girl all year. 
Is there a note? Yes, I've got the note. Merry Christmas, Bunny, from Father Christmas. So Clemmie has got a bunny, a, a teddy in her stocking for Santa as well. So you must have been a very good girl all year, Clemmie, because you've got a lovely teddy. So... So I highly recommend you check out Paula's podcast, Stitch by Mrs. D, and check out her shop when she has updates. Get yourself a little bear or a project bag. This was the project bag we got last year in the advent box. It's lovely. I still use this one. This has had my socks in. Lovely. Come and say hello. No, I'm not playing. And then I'm just noisy. I'll make this short because he's going to be a pain. I won't show you everything today. Noisy. Right, let's do Midnight Diary. So, number 12 I need, don't I? And do this one-handed. You're not going to get all the fancy camera angles today because we haven't got our assistant. Oh, pretty. Lovely pink. Pretty one. Very pink. What's that say? The nut, the nut cracker sweet. I dyed this intending it to be something entirely different. But Mr. Midnight took one look at it and said, that's the nut, nut cracker and the sugar plum thingy. So here it is. There we go. It's lovely in pink. That's my colour, definitely. Number 13. I'm <laughs> just thinking, I tried to open number 17 the other day, didn't I? I couldn't read the numbers properly. But yesterday, I was trying, Samuel's dancing costs five pounds for a class. I said, I can't work out the money and I couldn't add up the money when I'm in pain. I've got fibromyalgia and sometimes my brain doesn't work properly. And uh, yesterday I said to Sammy, oh, I've got 444 subscribers. And he was like, how have you got that many more? Rah, 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 rah. And I said, uh, oh, it's not that many more. It's only another four. Don't get overexcited. He said, that's not another four. That's another 200. And I thought, no, it's another four. So he looked at my phone and he said, you've got 244. I said, yeah, that's what I said. He said, you said you've got 444. I said, like, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, next one, number 13. Oh, holy night. I first heard this when El Devo rose to fame and literally it gave me goosebumps. It's my grandma's favourite carol and I had to include it. With regards to what colour, I've taken my inspiration from Josh Groban's cover art for his Christmas at the Vatican. That's a lovely colour as well. Oh, matches my jumper. I love that. We, um, my mum, my sister, myself, we went to see El Devo last Christmas. We went to see them on the 1st of December and they were fantastic. And um, we saw them on the 1st of December and it was such tragic news that Carlos was critically ill in hospital within about four days with COVID and he passed away a couple of weeks later his life support had to be turned off it's just it was such heartbreaking news because his voice was just phenomenal it really was okay next I'm going to open Dandelion and Dogwood I'm wearing my uh, Whitmore sweater today by Amy Loudon of Taylor S Studio, which is Dandelion and Dogwoods. I love this jumper. I have brought more yarn. I think I showed you that on a podcast, didn't I? That my friend enabled me to buy Naughty Girl. Oh, this is oh lovely. Oh I've not had not had that before. Uh, what's this say? Deborah's favourite. We've got a tea in there as well. That'd be nice. Yogi tea. I don't think I've ever had that. It's a rose tea. That'd be nice. I like rose tea. I had a really nice rose tea when I went for afternoon tea with my friends in the summer. It was lovely. Deborah's favourite. Oh my goodness. I think that's my favourite. That's lovely. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the colours in there. That. I think I've like full stains of some of these. You like that one, do you? You like that one. And number 13. Oh, I like this one. Ingrid Bergman. That's beautiful. I like a full skein of that. You like that one? 
I like that one. My um, Advent socks have gone. Oh, gently, I've gone on hold for a minute. I'm pleased you're not a blimmin' Alsatian, Milo. Speedy one at me. They won't take long to finish, but I needed to get Mark's finished, and now I want to do the baby socks. Oh, a little chewy sweet. I love chewy sweets, they're my favourite. Just ordered myself a big bag of chewy sweets. Oh my goodness, <laughs> see me coming in this one. It's Christmas time in the city. I know the lyrics to that one. My goodness, that is bright. That is bright, isn't it? <laughs> oh, then you can't eat it. You can't eat it. Kiki, cheeky boy. Yeah, I'm going to eat that sweetie though. Come and see you later. I don't know what you've done with your broccoli. Ugh, I can't get it, my own. <laughs> Oh, that is bright. <laughs> See me coming in that one. Such a contrast. I mean, Amy's muted colours. Oh, got another tea. English breakfast. Lovely. English breakfast tea. I do like English breakfast. Among the leaves are green. Oh, that's a bit <laughs> karma. <laughs> look, at, look at number 12. In your face. And number 13. So we're toning down a bit. Right, I'm going to leave that there because this one is being a menace aren't you and i've got um i got a so helly jane box yesterday that arrived i treated myself to that if you don't know what that is it is a subscription a sewing subscription box there's three tiers to it um i'm gonna take that tea bag out there's three tiers to it i i did subscribe to it for a while i did have quite a few boxes um and then i stopped and last year I had the, the November box, I think it was, and the December. I haven't had one since last December. I either had the November and December or I had the December and January. But I haven't had a box since December. Um, so I treated myself to this Christmas box. Um, I've eaten, we always get a, a sweet treat. I, eat, I, ate, I, ate, I ate that yesterday, that was yummy. Um, and I'll show you that tomorrow because he's been a menace. Tomorrow, I will have to do my video hmm, in the afternoon in between making some up at dancing and tutoring because I'm going to marzipan Christmas cakes in the morning. You can get it. And I'm going out for lunch with my friend. So I will see you all tomorrow. Happy crafting. Take care. Lots of love. Bye.